All right, now we're getting into what would be considered a battery charger as opposed to a maintainer. Now, the big difference between a charger and a maintainer is that a charger is not going to provide that consistent voltage in a maintenance mode. For example, that maintainer is going to maintain 13 volts. This charger is just going to charge the battery. And depending on the setting, if you set it to automatic, it's going to automatically stop. If you set it to manual, it's not going to stop. You're going to have to keep an eye on it and keep checking the voltage and you're actually going to have to manually stop charging. So basically you've got uh, 10 amp and 2 amp modes. It offers an automatic and a manual which is actually getting kind of rare. Some of these chargers don't even offer a manual which it is kind of irrelevant to a certain degree. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And as you can see, you can, you can switch between 2 and 10 amp. So it's a pretty good little charger. I uh, like the fact that you can switch it to manual for the following reason. Uh, sometimes when a battery is deeply discharged, an automatic battery charger is not going to sense enough voltage to trigger a charge. So basically, that's part of an automatic safety feature and the charger will not start charging a battery if it doesn't sense a certain amount of voltage which basically means that it can't sense that it's connected to a battery so what's kind of cool about this charger is if your battery is that badly discharged and it's got to be pretty bad I think some of the chargers I've noticed it has to be under like 8 volts but let's face it if your battery's been completely drained and it's under 8 volts then an automatic charger is not going to kick um, so then what you would do in that scenario is just switch it over to the manual mode and let it start charging. I would say within an hour of charging either on 2 or 10 amp mode you'd be able to come back and switch it to the automatic. So like I said on one hand it's kind of a nice feature but on the other hand it's also kind of irrelevant. And there are ways of tricking an automatic charger into charging a deeply discharged battery uh, which would involve hooking up jumper cables in parallel. Basically what happens in that scenario is you hook your dead battery up to a battery that has a charge with jumper wires in parallel and the two batteries will provide enough voltage for that charger to sense that there's a battery there to charge which will activate it. So that's kind of a quick way to get around an automatic charger not wanting to start charging a battery which is pretty good information because I actually had a battery go bad in my motorcycle and I had accidentally left the key on and drained it completely and it wouldn't take a charge and I think the actual problem was the fact that there wasn't enough voltage for that charger to charge that battery I mean at the time I wasn't aware of that so I ended up just getting a new battery but I probably could have salvaged that battery if I had known that. Alright so like I said you got 10 amp and 2 amp modes you got the choice to go manual and like I said kind of irrelevant sometimes it really depends on your application. Alright the next charger we got is by Sentry. And this is pretty similar to that Schumacher. It offers a 2 amp and a 10 amp mode. And it also has a 55 amp engine start mode. Which this is another feature that to me personally it's kind of irrelevant. I don't think too many people are going to use it. But with this charger it actually has a little bit of a benefit too because this is an automatic charger. There is no switch to change it to a manual. So basically that start mode would be useful to trick this charger into charging a deeply discharged battery. So let's say you hook this up to a battery and it won't charge because the voltage is too low. All you'd have to do is switch it to that engine start mode plug it in, probably give it a good 5 or 10 seconds 
I would watch with a voltmeter to see how quickly the voltage comes up in the battery. Once you get up to 13 volts, unplug the charger, switch it to the 2 amp mode on a charge mode, and plug it back in. And it should start taking a charge. Basically that 55 amp mode is going to manually force that battery into a voltage scenario where the charger is actually going to be able to sense that there is a battery there and begin a charge cycle. You see you got the different modes, charge, engine start. This also does a 6 volt. But the 6 volt is uh, manual only, so I don't know how much I like that. I do like the automatic feature. It, you don't have to babysit the battery. So like I said, this, this 55 amp start mode, yeah, it can be useful sometimes. It's probably not going to be that helpful trying to start a battery that's been deeply discharged. It might help. Probably not. If your battery is discharged to the point where you're looking to use an engine start mode, 55 amps is probably not going to do it. But once again, that depends on your battery and your personal scenario. I mean, it's obviously it's worth a shot in a pinch. But to me, as a feature on a battery charger, it's kind of irrelevant. So what's good about this battery charger is that you got the automatic modes. 2 and 10 amp are pretty good. Um, I always kind of lean towards the lower end of the amperage spectrum. I think it's a lot better to charge a battery at the lowest amperage setting you possibly can. I'll talk a little bit more about that later.